what is up guys welcome back so in today's vlog I think I'm gonna be doing some maintenance on the track so I'm gonna go over that with you guys if you're interested in that I got some like weeding to do it's like a garden but I think I'm also gonna make a berm in one of the corners with the skidster so uh, yeah but uh first I need to give the quad and pit bikes a wash so let's do that real quick yeah, the bikes are a little bit dirty from last week's videos. If you guys didn't see last week's videos, I compared these two bikes. So if you're interested in pit bikes or have been thinking about getting a pit bike, if you want to see the differences between these two, I have a video for that. I will link that below. But uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to ride this for you later in the week. Maybe tomorrow I think I might get on it. Yeah, so I got all the bikes clean now. They look really good. Happy. Probably gonna ride a little bit later. But uh, right now I'm gonna work on uh, getting the track ready. Um, I'm gonna start mixing the weed killer. Yeah, so to kill the weeds, uh, we got this little sprayer. It's kinda got a boom on the back. It sprays out of these ends right here. And then you can also do the hose if you want. Um, but I just attach it to the ball hitch of the four-wheeler which you can't see right now so i'm going to be adding in like five gallons of water and then i'm going to mix the roundup in Alright, so I got the roundup, and here's I don't know what this is measured out to, but we do six of these for 25 gallons, and I only put five gallons in, so I only got to do one cup. That looks like honey. <laughs> Alright, so before I start spraying the weeds, I'm actually going to use, it's like a push weed whacker. Um, and then I'm going to take down some of the taller stuff that's on the jumps before I start using that. Not too much is overgrown. I'm just on the landing of the triple right now. Um, I got a little bit. I got a cut up here, but this is about the worst of it. Um, if you guys are waiting for the video of me hitting this triple to come out, I, it's definitely on my list. But before I hit it, I want to make the landing wider because down here it's pretty narrow still. I mean. I mean, it's wider than a quad, but like, still pretty far from all the way over there. But, uh, fun fact, yesterday was actually the one year anniversary of this. I think I broke my jaw. Are you serious? Good times. Always is. So I just finished uh, weed whacking, but uh, I'm gonna start spraying now. It's pretty simple how this works. All I gotta do is connect these guys to the battery. I took it out of the lawnmower. Then there's a little toggle switch to turn it on and off, so.
All right, so I finished up the weed spraying. Um, went pretty good. Went through most of it. I probably have like a gallon or two left of what I made, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna hop in the skid stir right now and go out in the field and try and make that berm for the outside line on that new corner I made. Um, it's a little rough. It's a little wet out there right now, so I'm hoping I don't sink in too much, but we'll see. So I'm down at the corner, so I want to make an outside line for both the bike and the quad. Um, want it around this outside edge right here. So I think I'm just going to push some of this dirt up towards that way. This is kind of might be hard to tell on camera, but it's kind of like a high spot right here. I'm going to take some of this dirt as well and push it over here. Hopefully, my only concern is there's already water sitting in here, so. If I made a berm around the back, I'm hoping it doesn't fill up with water all the way because that would just suck. So I'm hoping it doesn't, but I might be able to make a little trench if it does, but that will definitely make this corner more fun. Otherwise, I've been just taking the inside line. <laughs> So yeah, it's starting to come together a little bit. There's a lot of water in here right now, but uh, I don't know. I'm gonna make it go up there farther and then I gotta have it come around to here a little bit more. But I think I might try and fill this up with dirt a little bit and just try and keep an edge. Try and keep the water out of there, but I don't know. It's looking good so far. So yeah, it probably doesn't look like too much on camera, but I didn't want too big of a berm. I just kind of want enough, so once you start riding it, it's going to make itself for the most part. Got to shape it a little bit. I'll probably go get a, a shovel or something, but uh, I still got this right side to do. Um, but it's pretty easy so far. Kind of starting to sink in over there a little bit. but. So yeah, it probably looks a little rough right now, but uh, the ground's a little wet down here because of the, all the rain we got yesterday, or last night I should say. But uh, I think once I ride it a little bit, it should straighten up a little, but uh, everything always starts out rough, So especially berms. I'm not very good at making them, but I got an idea of how to do it. I just need some of this water to dry up and then the ground to dry up a little bit before. I can shape it, but all right, guys, that should do it for today's video. If you guys want to see anything more, let me know in the comments, um, whether it's with the track or riding or whatever, just let me know. Um, and oh yeah, uh, the giveaway is still going on. Um, I think I might announce the winner. I haven't picked one yet, but announce the winner either later in the week this week or the following week. So I will keep you guys posted on that. But uh, thanks for watching and peace out. I will see you guys tomorrow, hopefully. I still got to make a mode vlog. Like, so like if I post this today, the video tomorrow, I basically same day video. So, so you guys are awesome. Also. Four, one thing, one more thing. We hit 30K, so that's awesome. Um, I don't know, do you guys want me to do a 30K challenge? I don't know. If you guys have any ideas of what you wanna do, like just, just let me know, okay.